Mac and guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, episode 20, Voices of the S-Rank Walkthrough. For this mission, all you're gonna really need is a neutralizing pistol. You can also, if you want, use a rocket launcher, some kind of a automatic rifle of sorts, or C4. They're helpful if you use a different strategy, which I will be talking about. I recommend doing this one at night. Now, as soon as you land in, you're gonna need to make your way to the kind of area at the very back of the level. I'll be showing you the best route to take and watching out for the villages obviously along the way. We will need to get off our horse and get through one of the villages in order to be able to get to the final part of the mission. So I'll be showing you how to get through that village as well and I'll rejoin you once we reach that village in a couple minutes. So now that we've reached the entrance of the village, just try to scan as many enemies as you can. I like to go in and then from the front gate turn left because that's the best way you're going to go and it's really the easiest way obviously as well. There's also a guard tower that you're less likely to be seen by if you go this way. Obviously feel free to take out any enemies that see you. There are some lights in the area but again sometimes pacifism is the best way so I'm just going to completely ignore this guy, ignore the guy that's actually going to come by. And I'm going to end up shooting the guy in the guard tower because his light kind of interferes with the path I wanted to go to. Feel free to just uh, use that gate to get out. Now, again, the gate, the fastest way to open a gate is to press the lock picking button and then keep tapping it and you'll actually open the gate faster. So as soon as you reach this, come out of this gate, take care of any enemies that you see that are getting in the way. End up take, I end up taking care of this guy in the outpost because... I was scared that his light would see me as I was exiting, and then continue on your way to the objective uh, in the forest.
Supposedly, the valley up ahead is covered in mist almost year-round. The objective area is beyond there. Bridge has collapsed. Looks like you'll have to go down through the valley. So after riding your horse and finding out that one of the bridges is not working, you'll need to come down into this area. I believe there's three or four enemies. Sometimes there's an extra enemy, sometimes there's a decoy. And just make your way through slowly. Try to scan as many enemies as you can as you en enter the area so that you don't get caught off guard by any of the enemy's locations. Now I'm going to make my way in. I'm going to end up uh, neutralizing these enemies, but you can just sneak by them if you find that easier. And we're going to have to make our way to the left up a mountain, through a little base, and then through a little tunnel into a large building. And this part's pretty straightforward as long as you follow along with the video, so I won't really be adding any commentary. That'll be benef beneficial to people who might be struggling. If you're following the video, this part's pretty easy. Uh, just keep going, and then I'll rejoin you after the cinematic in a couple minutes. Alright, so now we're trying to escape and there's a variety of tactics that work for this. Um, what you're going to basically need to do is you're going to need to attack the fire guy and there's a few things you can do. Uh, the tactic I'm going to be using is I'm going to be putting a water tower, which you can see right there, in between myself and him. And if you do that, he'll actually shoot the water tower, the water tower will collapse onto him and extinguish him for a small period of time. It won't extinguish him forever, so keep that in mind. Uh, but if you're able to call in a helicopter, get him to extinguish himself, and then quickly run to the helicopter, you should be able to extract before he comes back to life. If you're extracting and he comes back to life, there's a chance that he hits you with fireballs and that you end up uh, having to uh, restart that checkpoint because he'll take down your chopper. Now, another thing you can do, I'm going to use the car here to get the tunnel to explode because that ends up triggering one of your allies to tell you that he can land in a different area. So that's what I'm doing right here with the car. I figured it would be faster to go towards the tunnel. So as I said, as you get towards the tunnel, it'll trigger an explosion and then uh, your commander will tell you that you now have a new choice of LZs and you can select three landing zones that are inside of the area that I'm in. As soon as I do that, he might respawn, remember, if you're not fast enough. So if he respawns for you, that's totally okay. Just try to take him down with a water tower again. 
and then call in your helicopter. Try to call in your helicopter right before you take him down. You can also shoot a uh, rocket launcher at him when he's standing next to one of the large fuel tanks. And if he's standing next to one of the large fuel tanks, he will explode and get pushed into a pool of water. That'll also extinguish him, and then you can also extract from the area if you do that. So as you can see, I extinguished him, and he ended up spawning inside of that warehouse next to my left. Now, if he doesn't know that where you are, since I have a silenced weapon, he doesn't know where I am, so he's not attacking me. I decided to take a risk and run straight for my chopper. He is alive at this moment, but he ends up missing enough shots that I'm able to extract without being taken down. Now, if I got taken down, I would just restart my checkpoint, make sure I extinguish him with one of the water towers again, and then quickly board on my chopper. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Like I said, you can also use a rocket launcher or C4 to explode him with one of the huge fuel tanks and then push him into the pool of water. Hopefully that's helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.